Welcome back on Sister Circle Live. For more than 20 years, musician extraordinaire Wyclef Jean has made an unforgettable mark on the world of music. From his chart-topping hits to his humanitarian work, the three-time Grammy winner has also, has always been a trailblazer in so many ways. Now he's on a new mission. He's giving young, undiscovered talent a voice in the music industry. Let's take a look. It's been a long time, I shouldn't have kept y'all I'ma turn the summer back to 96, y'all And I can see the future, girl, that's 2020 Yeah, major moves, but we in the end it. Let's get it started, Jazzy from the X Yeah, Maddie says she got next Words to front, I got her like Aaron Jazz I'm the batter, I'm ready to hit the ball out of the stage Please welcome, welcome, John! You know, we from Haiti, baby. It's two from, oh, it's two. My bad. Yeah, you know. I like my, I like kisses. Exotic island, man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We were over here jamming. You yeah, hear me? That was a good little tune. We was yes. jamming. Down. That's the new one, um, Jazzy Amra. She's from the Bronx. Okay. Yeah, it's um, I don't know what's going on in that Bronx water. But some vibes is going on mm -hmm. right now out there. You yeah. About bring it, you about to bring it forward. Yeah. Well, I first met you. Uh, in 2013 at the Cognac Fest in uh -huh. France. Do you remember yes. that? Yeah, in France. Have you? Okay. Yes, oui, in oui. France, yes. <laughs> yes, have, yes. You, <laughs> have you been back to the Cognac Fest? Or? Um, no, I haven't been. I've been back to a meet -em. Mm -hmm. Um I did a lot of stuff at meet -em. Um I have a small tech company now. I'm developing a hip hop guitar. So oh, wow. every year I'm out there. I'm in like Can Lion is a good place to go out there in France, uh -huh. too. Okay. So definitely, I'm always out there. How's your French? Um, it's I like French fries. <laughs> I, I give you that. Okay, that's what I got. I got wee wee and uh, Mancy. I got you. Though. That's all you, you need. Got more stuff. Like and that you need je t'aime. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. Yeah, I love you too. That's why I mean. Um, you are on tour. Speaking yes. of love, I love the fact that you are back on tour. Yeah. How does it make you feel? Well, I mean, for me, you know, after 100 million records of work, all right? You know, <laughs> I'm inspired by like Harry Belafonte. Malcolm X and people like that. I didn't want the legacy to just be music. Mm -hmm. So I went back to my country and I tried to become president. Mm -hmm. So for me, um, back on tour is exciting. Um, last night, just getting like the AC3 award. Mm -hmm. We show up and half of the audience is like 21. Mm -hmm. And the other half is like, yo, where the Fuji's at, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. So you put it together. Um, that's the most exciting thing I would say about the tour, just the, the fact of the discovery with mm -hmm. the young kids Merging. and then the older generation having a good time. Yes. Yeah. Well, you, you've come from humble beginnings, and how did that shape you, and how did it shape your music? Well, my daddy was a minister, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I was raised in the church, PK, bad boy. Hallelujah. You know? mm -hmm. um, so I would say coming from Haiti, I come from nothing. So I remember eating dirt on the floor, you know mm. what I mean? Uh, my brother also, he's a lawyer today, he ate dirt too. Okay. But he always try to like justify things. So he'll be like, yes, but it was mineral dirt. I'm like, man, dirt <laughs> is dirt. dirt though. I mean, look I'm like, dirt is dirt. <laughs> <laughs> so by the time we got to the projects in Brooklyn, we just felt like we made it. Oh, so wow. I would just say for me, uh, my daddy always says something, he says, you know, we live and we die, it's all about that space in the middle. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so that's all we strive to mm -hmm. for, yeah. Now you have worked, you have worked with artists from Michael Jackson to Mick Jagger to, mm. I mean, the, the, the amount of, of artists that you've worked with and the genres that you've mm. worked in have been immense. Yeah. What is the intentionality behind just crossing genre all the time? I mean, yeah. Santana, just everybody. Well, uh, Quincy Jones. Um, I'm mm -hmm. a jazz major, you know, I play like 15 different instruments, yes, and yes, I'm like know. really, Miles Davis is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. So I just, you know, it's like, I feel like I'm just getting started, like mm. with, with my whole like why I clap back, back to school, I feel like I might be finding Thriller now, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So for me it's just like looking at what Quincy do and how he pushes the envelope. Quincy has a term called global gumbo. Mm -hmm. So global gumbo, I never looked at music like, yo, just because someone speaks Spanish or they speak, I either feel like the music gonna make you feel good or it's yeah, not. Right. Um, exactly. So that's how we, we, we do music. So even like when I wrote like um, Santana's, like Maria Maria, uh -huh. and it was nuts because when Khalid called me like, yo, Clef, you know we the best, I need to sample <laughs> your record, and it's just, you know, it's crazy because what's dope about it is as long as you do music and it makes people feel good, we're going to find it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. well, well, how did you segue from being this <clears throat> chart-topping hit maker to being the humanitarian that you are today? Right. 
Well, for me, um, social impact has always been natural. Like, so I haven't, I get that from the church background. Mm -hmm. So I guess um, even at the height of the Fuji's, right? The first thing I did was bring Fuji's to Haiti okay. and people don't even think of that. So at the height of the career, it was like, yo, I'm gonna bring this group back. For me, it's just social responsibilities. I just feel like at the end of the day, God gives us a lot and yes. it's important to give back to the community. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is given, which is required. Facts. Facts. Now you have a new song called Baba. 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 Yeah, going back Baba. Baba. with it, tell us about yes. Baba. Baba, I took my DNA test, mm. right? Mm -hmm. So it was like, so this new Y Clef goes back to school. I'm bringing y'all to the water. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm completely, you know, it's like I'm, I'm in a zone. After taking my DNA test, found out that I was Nigerian. You feel me? Yeah. So, and heavy Nigerian, like not like, you know what I mean? So it's like when I look at it and I said, man, do you know how strong, and I'm talking about over 50%. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yo, that bloodline did a lot of fighting just to make sure that it rocked out. So Baba in Swahili means father. Oh. So the sonics though that I'm coming with, I'm taking 1996 mm -hmm. meets 2018 and we putting it together. Well, when we come back, we're gonna have more with White Clef, so stick around and we'll get to meet his new artist. Yay! Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are hanging out a little longer with Wyclef, and we wanted to introduce you guys to his new or artist, Jazzy. Yes. How are you, Jazzy? Welcome to the circle. Thank welcome, you. welcome. So yours is the music we heard when, when Wyclef was first coming out. Can you tell us just a little bit about your music? Well, my music is R&B soul. I grew up on just R&B and Tony Braxton. Like, she's my number one inspiration. She always crazy. says that I every time. I always say time. it in my interviews and everything, so it's an honor to be here with her Aww. sister, Trina. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so I sing from the heart. Um, I make sure to tell my story through my music, so I just want everybody to relate to it. Now, Wyclef, how did you discover Jazzy? Um, so for me, um, I'm always lucky. There's a CEO by the name of Madeline Nelson. Mm -hmm. She's like, yo, um, there's a girl you have to hear. You know, I know you're from the church. And Jazzy came a cappella, And when she sang, mm. I just knew that she had the vibe. But the key was she had to finish college to get on this back to school that. project, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. that happened. We're talking about it. Yeah. I told the people down to the college. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll see y'all later. I'm going to go and get this here recording contract. That's and I regret it. I regret it. Because then I ended up having to pick it up later. So that was very good. Speaking of college, yeah. back to school. Yes. This is your new project. Talk, yes. talk to us about it. So the project is 1996 meets 2018. Mm -hmm. The vibe of it is like when Teddy Riley went in the studio with Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. So it's Wyclef in the studio mm. with the Wyclefs 20 years before him that listened to the score in the wow. corner. So we're blending the sonics together mm -hmm. so you can have a young Jazzy who's 20 something. Mm -hmm. um, what happens if we put her against a Mary J. Blige guitar now? Mm -hmm. um, how is it gonna sound? Wow. Um, and we're recruiting talents throughout America um, through our tour, so it's mm. been going nuts. So if there's a college student that I'm missing, that's we watching this, you know. please let me know. Because I know y'all got the gift. Yes, well, don't forget to catch Wyclef on tour in a city near you and make sure to get Wyclef Goes to School on streaming services everywhere.